derivatives of phi e by dt equals to derivative of q by epsilon naught derivative of phi e equals to derivative of q into 1 by epsilon naught here dq by dt equals to i current therefore derivative of phi e by dt equals to i into 1 by epsilon naught i equals to epsilon naught into derivative of phi e by dt this is the missing term in ample law in the equation one by adding the above current to the total current carried by conductors through the surface the current passing through the conductor due to flow of charges is called conduction current IC and the current given by the above equation is due to changing the electric field is called displacement current ID Maxwell modify the Ampere's law as follows surface integral of B bar dot DL bar equals to mu naught into IC plus ID equals to mu naught into IC plus epsilon naught into derivatives of phi E by derivative of DT the term epsilon naught into derivative of phi E by DT is called as displacement current ID therefore ID equals to epsilon naught into derivative of phi E by DT the displacement current is distinguished from conduction current in the sense that the former exits only when the electric flux or electronic field changes with time Maxwell's equations in 1862 Maxwell formatted the laws of electricity and magnetism in the form of four basic equations called Maxwell equations in the absence of any dielectric can and magnetic material Maxwell's equations can be written in the integral form as follows 1 surface integral of e bar dot ds bar equals to q by epsilon naught Gauss law for electricity 2 surface integral of b bar dot ds bar equals to 0 Gauss law for magnetism 3 surface integral of e bar dot dl bar equals to derivative of phi b by dt Faraday's law 4 integration of b bar dot dl bar equals to mu naught i plus mu naught derivative of phi e by dt Ampere's law these equations are collectively called Maxwell's equations.